morning, good morning. Put up the tree before my spirit falls again. Good morning, good morning tonight. We may be rushing things, but deck the halls again now. For we need little Christmas lighting up old Broadway, singing silly show tunes just to brighten your day. Yes, we need little Christmas right this very minute. It hasn't snowed a single flurry, but Santa, dear, we're in a hurry. Join us on YouTube or live on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever screen. Call out your ice cubes. It's time we've garnished cocktails with an evergreen bow. For we need a little music. Good morning. Need a little laughter. Good morning. Need a little singing. For you. Ringing through the rafters. So, so we're, we're here, here to say good, good morning. Tonight, tonight forever after. after. Need a little Christmas. What a take. And now, live from New York City, it's Good Morning Tonight. Hello, I'm Michael Hull. And I'm Jackie Cox. And welcome to Good, Good Morning, Morning Tonight. Tonight. It's 7 p.m. Well, it's 7, 12 p.m., uh, which means that if all were right in the world and Broadway were open and thriving, mm. now would be the time that us theater people would be springing from our beds, heading towards the Broadway theaters and getting ready for another night of the magic of live theater. And technically, because the call time for real Broadway shows is 7.30 p.m., we wouldn't get fined. We're still on time. We're still on time. <laughs> so we are here to say good morning for all of you nighttime people. Yes, and uh, what a show we have planned today. Hey, this is this is so much show. So many exciting things are happening. Yes. Uh, we have, uh, as you saw last week, we decorated the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, still, it's still lit up. Um, so thank you to our uh, intern team for um, decorating for us. They did a they did, such they did a really nice a, job, a lovely job. They really they really they work very hard to make they sure do. we look good. They so do. thanks to the whole team here at Good Morning Tonight. Michael, you look so festive. Thank you. A friend of mine uh, lent me this tie for today's. Uh, for today's show, a friend of mine with a lot of opinions. A friend of mine who likes to be in charge. It was me. Oh, it, it was, was me. It was I you. said, Michael, That's you're wearing truth. this tie. <laughs> so uh, look, we match. Well, and okay, so this is, I don't know if they can tell, but there's a little bit of green in the tie, um, which yeah. just really sparkles with the magic of the technology that we're yeah, using. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Well, oh, anyway. good, it's small enough that they can't see. Yeah. I am very excited because I'm wearing this new chapeau mm -hmm. that I, I purchased this when um, I w went to perform in Provincetown. Uh, there's this little town called Orleans, and there's this little store called Vintage in Vogue, and I said, if that's not a store for Jackie Cox, I don't know what is. <laughs> so I bought this uh, little hat, and uh, I built this whole outfit just around the hat. I love and then it. I made you dress to match that. You hat. built this whole, this whole visage, this visage. <laughs> oh my Michelle gosh. visage. No one knows. Uh, Jackie, how was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was lovely. Uh, Good. We, we, you cooked the turkey, we so that it made together. it pretty It was a good. trick question. <laughs> uh, uh, you made, and you also made delicious cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I made a, a, a stop at the grocery store. I made a stop at the grocery <laughs> store because I insisted that we have some salad. And then uh, we promptly each had two bites of that salad. And mm -hmm. um, that was it. So, so happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hope your Thanksgiving was great. Uh, but it is December 1st, and mm -hmm. we are ready to roll right into a very festive show. You guys, Leslie Margarita is one of theater's favorite funny women mm -hmm, from Broadway mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, the West mm -hmm, End mm -hmm. and back. Uh, she is here tonight with the scoop on how you can stream her performance in Whose Holiday right at home for free this holiday season. Plus, uh, we have Jen Cody, and to call her a Broadway triple threat would simply not do her justice. Mm. For the past several weeks, she's been working to assemble an online catalog of stage-worthy holiday gifts that support uh, out-of-work artists. Uh, that catalog launched today Day, and she's here to tell us all about it. Yes, and then we are joined by yet another Broadway World Award nominated guest. They just keep coming. Uh, you may know him from his debut solo album that dropped earlier this year, or as one of the leading directors of concert and cabaret here in New York City. It's Robbie Roselle. And all of that, plus we've got another holiday cocktail coming your way from Dylan Bustamante of the 530 Quarantini. Of the Broadway World nominated mm -hmm. 530 Quarantini. And a very <laughs> festive, and we did we heard a little bit of this in Soundcheck, and I'm so excited. A very festive live performance from Marty Thomas 
Sisters with Marissa Rosen uh, to celebrate the drop of their new holiday album. Their holiday album. It's about to be a festive hour, so thank you for joining us, mm -hmm. uh, and we're so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. And so let's start this off because oh. right away we're getting some <clears throat> breaking news mm -hmm. because our first guest tonight is literally a Broadway legend. She starred in Cats, uh, Grease, Shrek, mm -hmm. The Pajama Game, You're mm -hmm. in Town, mm -hmm. and just so many more that we don't have time to list them all. Mm -hmm. She's also a centerpiece of the Broadway community as an impassioned champion for Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, and the Actors Fund, and a second vice president of Actors Equity Association. With Broadway Dark and so many artists in need of our support, she spent the past few weeks curating an online catalog of holiday goodies made by and supporting artists. And if that doesn't make her a true Disney princess, she was also the voice of Charlotte LaBeouf in Princess She was, which is about to be uh, a new ride at Disney. So Ugh. get excited. Well, for someone so tiny, she sure packs a lot of heart. So please welcome, with breaking news, our friend Jen Cody. tonight good morning good morning i i'm confused i brought a cocktail but are we supposed to be drinking because it's morning? yes oh we can yeah. do whatever we want here at this very real morning show that happens at <laughs> night time cheers you guys cheers cheers Jen, um, thank you for oh. being here uh thank it's so nice you. to see you where um, are you coming to us from tonight i'm in new york city i'm back in Mark. new york just for the week but um I'm so excited. You guys, this is like the best lineup of people on your show ever. It, oh, it truly is. A lot of it. Like, you have some really funny people. It's going to be it's, it's going to be a wild. With you. It's it's starting with you. <laughs> One of my favorite people uh, in general in life, you know, Jen, I've I've had the um, great privilege of exercising next to you in the past, <laughs> which I will say makes makes any workout so much better. Uh, it, it, at the, the gym that uh, we used to frequent back when group fitness was a thing, there's this thing called bear crawls that uh, mm -hmm. we do to, to, it's supposed to be good for your cardiovascular health. Did you know that? And good your for core. your cardiovascular, and your core. Um, and Jen, you really get into that bear. You're, uh, it's, it's a little mama bear coming at you. I bite. Ooh. She's, her bite is in fact worse than her bark. Her bite is worse than her bark. How about that? Um, Jen, oh you are obviously, uh, we're thrilled to have you here. Broadway superstar, mm -hmm. a bajillion shows. Mm -hmm. I just watched, we don't support bootlegs here, but I just revisited your time at Susical uh, on the internet via we a shady link. We did our 20th anniversary Susical um, Zoom party last night. And everybody was there and um, uh. Kathleen and Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty and Rosie, it was, it was a really spectacular night, three and a half hours long. It was great. Oh my God, so fun. Yeah. That sounds like an amazing party. And, and you're still standing and here with us today and with a drink in hand. And a cocktail. And a cocktail. Um, and not only that, we have to talk about it because, you know, it's, we, we've, we've just finished Black Friday, we finished Small Business Saturday, and now we are on Giving mm -hmm. Tuesday. And so I'm so excited that we're talking about this because it's so important that I think, you know, for everyone who's out of work right now, that we, you know, we try to support them and their businesses, that they're, a lot of them are starting up right now. Yep. And so I'm so glad you created this artist th 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 thriving. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm I'm in the union, and um, I hear you know it's very, I hear it every day, right? I, I hear from my, our members, and I hear from people who just everyone wants to work, and um, so many of them have uh, other talents that they do at the in their free time, right? They they make jewelry, they make scarves, and and so I woke up like like two and a half weeks ago. I woke up and I said, we got to get them all together. So that mm -hmm. people who constantly ask me, how can I support the Broadway community when they aren't working right now? How do I do that? So I woke up with, on a whim and I put something on Facebook like, do we think this could be a thing? <laughs> Michelle Lehrman, um, a, a woman who I know, who I think also was a ninja, she was like, let's do it. We got together and now the catalog, which we've launched today, has over almost 100 uh, artists slash uh, people like creators mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool things you know it's like um there's there's jewelry but there's like body pillows that have hunk gorgeous cool. sleep with that there's custom underwear there's like <laughs> um and so we thought if we launch this catalog 
people yeah. who are outside the industry can still support what we do by just yeah. going and buying your holiday gifts there. So it's yeah. called Artist Sir Thriving Catalog.com. It's written down because it's kind of hard. <laughs> but it's also slash 2020. So it's Artist Sir Thriving Catalog.com slash 2020. Gotcha. Um, oh. And so it's there. And please, we've already had 1.9 thousand hits today. So. It's well. I spent, you know, when I was when I was prepping that little that little video that just played. I spent a, quite a, a while. I had quite a spin a uh, browsing the, the the offerings at artists are thriving dot thir, artists are thriving catalog dot com slash twenty twenty. We're very we're very creative people, apparently. Jen, have you done your own line of mascara? If not, <laughs> this is something that we're going to get on the artists are thriving catalog. Maybe not in time for this holiday, but here's the deal. I don't have legs. I didn't get the legs. I got the lashes. So that's yeah. I got the wrong line. <laughs> that's right. That's the way to do it. That's For the way sure. to do it. The lashes, I will say, I the only Disney princess to just, you know, say, yes, I'm going to put on my makeup for you right now because <laughs> I look like this because of the makeup. Right. <sighs> yeah. Well, we're very excited. Oh, Jen, thank you guys, thank you for supporting this. Oh my gosh, thank you for, for doing the legwork to make such an incredible thing happen uh, and to make it so easy for people mm. to support artists who really, really, really need the help right now while Broadway is dark, while and, there's just not work. And just being your energy, like, on this show, it, I feel I, I I felt a change in the weather because you're back in town. So. I just want to keep art alive, you guys, and this is how we're going to do it until we can actually do it. We're sure. gonna, we're gonna, yeah. and um, when when Broadway comes back, we are gonna be right there in the front row screaming for you, Mama Bear, because we adore you so much, Jen. Thank you. Mwah, thank thank you. you for your love and your light, and good morning tonight. Good morning good tonight, night, Jen. Yeah. Thank Mwah. you. Mwah. Oh my gosh, just the best. The Actual best Broadway human. legend and also just I the nicest I could have just hung person. out with her for the whole hour. I know. Well, we'll do like a, an after hours show where we just Ooh. drink wine with Jen Cody drink for an hour with Jen Cody. three hours. Speaking of drinking, uh, I feel like that is the perfect segue uh, to our next guest. Before we get to him, though, if you are enjoying the show tonight and you, uh, for some reason, feel the need to tip us, you can. Mm -hmm. uh, my Venmo or PayPal are scrolling below. And just so that you guys know, I will be donating all of the tips and Venmos from tonight to uh, the Georgia Senate runoff races to John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock's campaign. Yes. Um, as you guys may have been paying attention to the news, uh, things are looking good for them right now, but we just need to get them that extra push right. um, and uh, help them get to uh, the Senate so that we can actually enact some of the important change that we need to make happen. And just not let up. Even when things start to look good, keep your eyes on the prize. Speaking mm. of eyes on the prize, I'm uh, looking forward to a The little... booze! Yeah, the booze. This has just been water! You guys, uh, you met him last week on the original crossover episode, the mm. holiday episode. Uh, he is back with us tonight. Uh, please welcome back to the show my co-host from the 530 Quarantini, our in-house bartender, Dylan Bustamante. This is so hello, great. Hello. Dylan. hello. Oh my goodness. Uh, good morning tonight, Dylan. Very good excited to tonight. have you here. Michael yes. literally said I could only drink water until you came on. So, oh, so, it's so sad. you know, it's secret. true. Well, he keeps me on. I made him wear the tie, so I guess that's the uh, that's you the know, thing. you yes. win some, you lose some. You win that some, you lose some. Honor, but I'm holding the the, the, the booze. Yes, uh, holding the booze. Dylan, welcome yes. back. Uh, uh, if, if anyone is new this week and does not know, Dylan and I co-host another show on this very same channel that you're currently watching mm -hmm. on Thursday nights. It is a Broadway happy hour, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been doing it for quite some time, which makes you an official cyber bartender, right? It's true, an official cyber bartender, absolutely. Uh, so uh, what will we be making today for today's holiday offering? Mm. Okay, well, this is something that I'm gonna call a mistletoe margarita. Work. I know, it's gonna be delicious. So the first thing we're gonna do is I have some lime juice and some salt on a plate. I'm okay. Gonna salt. I'm gonna make a little a little rim for the, for the margarita, because who doesn't need who doesn't love salt? We're going to go either. rimless over here because we already poured the ice, ice in the thing. But it's that's all okay. good. It's all good. All right. So we got a nice little rim right there of some salt. Oh, We're gonna take... see, that's the, that makes it professional. What makes it professional? The, the salt, rim. the salty rim. Oh, yeah. And look, I've lived in Hell's Kitchen for a long time. So trust me when I say I know a salty rim. But um, ching. All right. <laughs> um, and then we're going to start with some tequila. So we're going to take All our right. tequila out. 
I got some got ice alone. I cuckoo on tequila. I'm nervous. You guys, Whoa. get excited. When Dylan said this is what we were making, I was like, well, it's going to be a good night. Well, I was cocks. like, we have Jen Cody, who made a, the spiciest margarita on our mm -hmm. show, Michael. It was so delicious. That's um, a lot. Michael, you just poured in half of this bottle. It, it's, there's ice in the bottom, too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and then we had Leslie Margarita on the show. So I was like, oh, let's do like a Christmas margarita. I see what you did oh. there. So we're making a margarita. How very original. I bet she's never heard that one before. Oh, yes. Uh, so I we're making not. a margarita. I've got the tequila in the cup. What's next? Tequila in the cup. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some triple sec. OK. Um, I'd Ready probably do go. like half of the triple sec of what you just did of that tequila if you're doing that much tequila, but. How's that? Oh, that's probably good. Okay. All triple right. sec liqueur. Here. <laughs> Straight large bottle here. <laughs> and then we're gonna do, very large bottle I see. Okay. We're gonna do some uh, lime juice. We're gonna do some lime into here. I would do a half of a lime. You've got the lime per... Oh, I, okay, I'm in charge of the bowl. lime. Oh, good, okay. How much lime did you say? I would do like a half of a lime per margarita. So if, you know. I've pre-juiced the limes. So that oh, we okay. I'm just gonna so do like a splash. Gonna, uh, like a, yeah, just do a little sploosh. Yeah, a that seems sploosh. good. And then to make it a little Christmassy, we're gonna use some yeah. uh, cranberry juice or you can use white cranberry juice. Ooh, it's up festive. to you. We do have cranberry. Uh, All so right, perfect. So I'm trying to move over the bottle so they're not still in the frame here. Okay, there we go. This, you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I just love white cranberry I'm gonna, I'm gonna juice, so I'm going to use there. white Oh, great. Juice. Great. All right. And then, and then we get to shake this bad boy up. Oh. We'll be stirring. We'll be stirring. <laughs> we'll be doing oh. stirred, not shaken. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to shake mine up in the meantime. Great. Michael, we have this bag of fresh cram. Are we supposed to pour these in too? Yeah, it's a garnish. That's the garnish. Okay. Megan oh, Keane is watching. At the end. At Cocktails the end. are all about garnishes. Oh. OK. All right, so now I have some ice on my rimmed this. glass. <laughs> and we're just going to pour it on in there. All and right, garnish let's see. it. I, I had the wrong camera angle up, but I wish you all could have watched Jackie try to open this with her nails on. Well, they're nail gloves, I'll be fully honest. And uh, as the more you move your hands, the more the gloves move around, and then you yeah. can't do anything. And all I'm right. gonna put this cocktail on my Instagram story like I did last time, because I know oh. we have to go a little fast. And then you just put some cranberries right on top. And there you oh. go, you got a nice little margarita there. A nice there. little festive Cheers. holiday cocktail. Cheers, Dylan, let's see. Yes. That's delicious. That is delicious. I've never thought to do a cranberry margarita. Right, mm -hmm. traditionally a summer drink, you would think. Right. Uh, but it makes such a festive, especially with the little cranberries the on little top. Little cranberries. Little cranberries, cranberries on top. Get into it, queen. All yes. right, well, Dylan, cheers, and thank you for being here. Cheers, uh, of course. We will be enjoying these over the course of tonight's episode. Mm. And yeah, same. Uh, we will see you next week when you will have another festive holiday cocktail offering I for will. all of us. We yes. love you, Dylan. Good morning love tonight. Good morning tonight. Good morning tonight. Um, Dylan Bustamante, everybody. Dylan Bustamante, award nominee, Dylan Bustamante. Award nominee, and it's a very good time for a cocktail because as you might know, 24 days to Christmas, Ooh. 33 days to inauguration Ooh. day, and it's the first day of December, so cheers. It's the first day of December, and also I'm glad that we're drinking a red drink, and I did make you a red tie because it's also World AIDS Day. Mm. Um, and for those who uh, maybe don't know much about AIDS, I know we have some younger viewers. You know, AIDS is something, especially in our community, that really devastated us, it devastated the city for so long, and we are luckily um, much closer to managing this devastating pandemic. But there is still a lot, uh, a lot to happen, uh, mm -hmm. especially gl globally, with HIV and AIDS treatment and prevention. Check out World Health Organization. I put it on my Instagram today. They have some interesting thoughts for you guys to check out if you don't know about this pandemic and also how it kind of uh, crosses over with uh, the current coronavirus pandemic, including just this morning, Michael and I both got our uh, weekly COVID tests at a clinic that was built in Chelsea because of HIV. So it's because of these resources that now we're actually able to manage this pandemic. Yeah. And that was my World AIDS Day part of the show. Thanks, Jackie. You know, 
I'm She's here. a smart queen, you guys. I wanted to get that part out before I had too much of this cocktail. Speaking of smart queens, mm. our next guest had a very busy year for someone living through a pandemic. Uh, he is a four-time Broadway World Award nominee oh, this year. Our most nominated our so most far. Our most nominated so far as a producer, a host, a cabaret performer, and as a recording artist. Watch out, J-Lo. He's also the curator and host of Broadway Record, a Broadway Record? Broadway Records online listening party series. Please welcome Robbie Roselle. Oh, we're getting a reveal. Good morning, tonight. Good, Good morning, morning tonight. Good morning tonight, Robbie. I apologize. It looks like we're a little bit uh, on slow motion, but we look so beautiful, and Uh-oh, we were right obviously here. in such shock over seeing you that uh, we can we can tell just how gorgeous you are, Robbie. Tell us, tell us, tell us more about your life. Come on the big screen while we try to fix our lag problem. Oh, hi. I'm beloved cabaret icon and four-time Broadway <laughs> World Award nominee. Robbie Roselle. And Robbie, tell the kids <laughs> tell the kids what you've been nominated for this year. Because it, it's Ooh. it's four things. And I think you've mm-hmm. talked about the the part the pieces, the process, and also when where and how the kids can actually um go and watch uh and listen to your recording mm-hmm. that's nominated. Um so I'm nominated for my show, Songs from Inside My Locker. Work. I'm nominated for uh which uh was uh best like debut. Because uh, these are like the awards of the decade, so that's the decade. I don't like to brag. Um, and I'm nominated for my recurring series, Tuesdays at 54, which had a fantastic seven-month run at um, the Underground Club, 54 Below. I'm nominated for hosting that as well. And I'm nominated for my solo album, Songs to Miss on My Locker, that dropped in June. And you can get it everywhere, RobbieRoselle.com. Amazing, and it's such a good listen. So it's it's uh, it's it's an album and a show, yeah. yeah. So um, and and a lot of that the storytelling that you so beautifully wrote into the show is also on the album. It mm-hmm. is laden with uh, songs and comedy and surprises and stories and uh, some more stories. Uh, it's a really good listen. I can't recommend it more highly enough. Uh, so congratulations on that. Uh, but you're also nominated uh, for your. Uh, recurring series. Mm-hmm. Tuesdays which, at 54. Tuesdays at 54, which ran uh, for months at 54. Seven below. months. Yeah. Seven month, a seven month run. I mm-hmm. went to it. I had a great time. Thanks, I hope pal. that when things reopen, it comes back. And if not there, there's a lot of amazing locations that are figuring out ways to do kind yeah. of cabaret space. So, Robbie, we're going to get it back. I think we're going to evolve it like a Pokemon somewhere. Ooh. What, yeah. what, what, what'll, what'll its evolutionary name be? Unc- something gay. Everything Something gay. Is just the gayest. Something gay. Something gay. Speaking of gay things, we would be remiss yes. not to say happy belated birthday, Robbie. Thank you. You are now Thank 25 so years old. You can now that finally is... rent a car, which is very important. Uh, you know, because in the pandemic, all people want to do is just take their cars to Trader Joe's. I've had like five or six friends, and tell me if this is true for you as well, who have just like gone to Trader Joe's and bought a car just because they like going to Trader Joe's. I feel like that's I... a new trend in New York. I did not buy a car to go to Trader Joe's, <laughs> but I did buy a Matchbox. To, I haven't left the house. I'm just watching. So six weeks ago, I had never seen any Housewives anything. <gasps> and now I've watched all of Beverly Hills and I have started season 10 of uh, New York tonight. And I'm also watching Salt Lake City. This is where we are in the pandemic. Oh my God. I'm so excited that you are now a Real Housewives convert. Yeah. Um, I am not there yet. <laughs> oh, I will get Michael there. By next Michael. week, if I can, hey, the tie was the first step. <laughs> and then uh, Real Housewives is next. We got Taylor. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. That's Taylor yeah. and Kyle. I'm just noticing sure that now. I was so, mm-hmm. um, I thought it was, I was so excited by your camera work that I didn't even notice Thank that you. it was a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, oh my God. And, uh, you know, Kyle, I'm, I have a thought for you now that okay. you've been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Sure have. I'm nervous that Kyle's star is a bit fading on that show. I feel like Uh-oh. I heard oh. they're bringing on Kathy Hilton this season. Yeah. And I think but it's I just like, because Kyle needed some more story. I feel like it's her show. Now that like Vanderpump's gone and it's like, peace out, right? Can't even bother to go to the yeah. reunion. It's just like, uh, it's Kyle's uh, world and everybody sort of revolves around her son, right? Well, um, we will see on this next season, which they're, I can't wait. they're filming right now through, like, I think another lockdown in LA. They're filming again. Yeah, that's got to be fascinating. 
Uh, we will see what happens. Robbie, you are such a delight. We adore you so much. And we're just so happy that you're part of our lives uh, and part of this uh, little New York world we have. And for everyone who wants to follow along and wants to uh, learn more about the, uh, the adventures of Diva Robbie um, themselves, uh, you can follow them at uh, Diva Robbie. Diva Robbie. Diva yeah, Robbie. get into it. The bottom of the screen. Look at that. Look at that. Well, Robbie, best of luck uh, with your nominations. I know mm. the competition is stiff Ooh. and the campaigning oh is hard. Very real. Uh, but best of luck, and you're a star to us. And thank you for coming to spend a little bit of time with us tonight on Good Morning guys. Tonight. We love you. Oh, wait, what does your mug say? It says, I've got anxiety. Girl, same. Well, and with 2020. That, um, <laughs> 2020. Cheers. Cheers, Robbie. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Robbie Rizal, you guys, at Diva Robbie on all the socials. Give him a follow. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, he's a powerhouse of a human. And for the kids who are worried about this audio lag, it's because there are so many there's still so, so many guests backstage waiting to join this show. We are a full house tonight, we've, you guys. I think we've broken Streamyard at this point, which is the service that we use to run this program. Streamyard, please feel free to sponsor us. Yeah, uh, please. We, we love you guys, and uh, we're so happy and that we're available. We're so yeah, we're very available. Oh, we'll do a whole campaign for you guys. Um, and, and speaking of <laughs> campaigns, uh, we're very excited about the Senate campaigns of uh, John Ossoff and segway, Raphael segway, Warnock. Segway, 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 segway. You're I firing them off tonight, I can do it. Tonight, it. I can do it. Uh, and so if you are also passionate about them and you want to tip me, I will be giving all of that money to the Senate runoff, runoff campaigns. Uh, and also, I mentioned it the last two weeks, but if you would like to purchase anything from my For You collection, mm -hmm. uh, you can, 20% uh, of those would also be going to uh, the Je Georgia Senate runoff campaigns. I made $1,000 in that collection uh, this past uh, weekend for Black Friday, so I'm be donating 200 bucks to oh the Senate runoff campaigns. Amazing. And we'll add that to the Broadway Talk Live total. Amazing. Well, How about that? now you know. You guys... Uh, we've got something very special planned next, and I've been excited about it all day. That's right. We are decking the halls with this very special report. Yes, I can't wait for this. Marty Thomas and Marissa Rosen are absolute staples of the Broadway community. Marty is an actor, producer, recording artist. He's one of the most gifted vocalists around, and in just a few minutes, you're going to find out why. That's right, and Marissa Rosen is one of the most beloved voices of the Broadway community. She's an actress, singer, and a darling of the New York concert and cabaret scene for her incredible talent. You may also remember them from being past guests of our show. That's right, they're our what? first two-time guests. Repeat offenders. Two-time guests, and they've got a new holiday album coming your way this week, and they're back to tell us all about it. So, without further ado, with today's special report, please welcome back to the show, Marty Thomas and Marissa Rosen. Good morning, Good morning tonight. tonight. Oh, Good morning God. tonight. You guys look such like such divas in your furs. Uh, well, hold on, I want to match Marty. It's so just a blanket. Oh, we were going for. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I see. So that means Marty is the Jackie Cox of this duo. Mm -hmm. I'll be the Michael Hall any day. Hey, <laughs> um, you guys! Uh, congratulations! Hi. You are dropping. And a well, not N V V award winning holiday album. And how do I it know? It says it on the cover. That's got to mean because it's, it's true. called yeah. the award winning holiday album. Oh, that's such a great title. That's yeah. such. I wish I that should have been my drag name. The award winning Jackie Cox. Well, like, it's, it's <laughs> called the drag race winner Jackie, Jackie Cox. Cox. Would that have worked? Do you think? Yeah. Well, Same thing. I, I mean, it worked for us. iTunes really fought us on it because they called it shameless upselling, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you said, yes, and? Yeah, I was like, can you take a joke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, it, it's coming out. Uh, it, it drops this week. It drops on December 5th. We're so excited for it. Uh, I'm also, I forgot to put up your banner, but you guys, I'm going to put their handles up on the bottom as well because Ooh. they dropped a little teaser video today, and it is... Uh, it is a delight. I've watched it about 75 times. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's an honor coming album. from you. you okay, can wizard. we talk about this, the lineup in this album? Okay, we have not only yeah. the, the two of you are our faves, we also have um, Diana DeGarmo, Rachel Potter, Alicia Umphress, Jessica Voss, Christina Bianco, and Melinda Doolittle. Um, yeah, for Drag bunch, Race fans... A bunch of new upcomers. True, and for Drag yeah. Race fans who are watching this, uh, Christina Bianco is famously the voice of half of the Rusicals from yeah. RuPaul's Drag Race, and she is on this album. 
Uh, and what what a lineup, what a lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did this come about? Was this something that was on the back burner for a while and you thought, gee, it's a pandemic? Or uh, was this a new idea? How, it's, t tell us where this album was birthed from. <clears throat> A little bit of everything. Marissa and I've wanted to record together for a long time as we've been performing together for so many years. And I've wanted to do a holiday album for many, many years. Uh, during the pandemic, I started planning said holiday album and I found mm. a, a video that Marissa and I had performed at Joe's Pub of a song from Elf. And I reached out to Marissa and asked if she would guest on my holiday album. And about three hours later, it was a duet album uh, that was already <laughs> in production. <laughs> And this is, that is the signature Marty Thomas move. Marty's and like, when got an idea. Says, but when he says duet album, he was the only one that knew that. Three <laughs> hours later, <laughs> I didn't know that yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is the danger of befriending Marty Thomas. He tells you there's an idea, and by the time you ask what it is, it's halfway done. <laughs> yeah, it's, because you've opened the door for a yes. So if, yeah. Because you mm. said, tell me more. I've assumed that I can pour all the details out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we are so excited about it. It is the award-winning holiday album. It drops December 5th. I've heard two of the tracks, two of the tracks, and I believe you're performing one of them for us on this very program. Yes. Right here, but yes. Do, you guys, do you see that? Do I see what? Oh, gosh. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Uh oh, Marty! I hate you. Uh, <laughs> Fine, I'll kiss you, Marty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you guys were about to get a scoop, and I am so thrilled about it. Uh, without further ado, uh, Marty and Marissa, take it away with today's special performance. I still believe in. Santa Claus, no rhyme or reason, just because it's one of my most favorite flaws that I still believe in Santa Claus, and I will until I'm 95. It keeps the kid in me alive. Long ago, I laid down logic's laws, and I still believe in Santa Claus. All us grown-ups have grown up too fast. Where's our imagination? That mystical, magical, wide-eyed wonder of the younger yesterday is flying on that sleigh. Hey. Oh. have grown up too fast where's our imagination that mystical magical what I'd wonder of the younger yesterday it's flying on my sleigh I still believe in peace and love and wish upon the stars above Whether it for if it never was Oh, I still believe in Santa Claus Whether if there is or never, never, ever was Oh, I still believe in Santa Claus I still believe in Santa Claus. Yes! Oh 
my god. So that was so, oh. so hard for me. Marissa, you really pulled through. Thank you. I feel good. Marty, you do have the distinction. I'm, I'm just going to say it. You're the only person who sings live, live on the show. We've had a couple of guests who, who sing live, and then we just add it in just to make sure that the sound is good. Like, mm -hmm. we just add the live section in later, pre tape But you have been singing live on the internet, and the kids were dying yeah. and gagging. Guys, that was not a lip sync. In, was, case no. you are, in case you're confused, he sounds like that out of his mouth. Yeah, it, that was also not a pre tape It is 7.45 p.m. here at the East, uh, East, and uh, we didn't line that up. That is just the time it is, because that's the time that Marty Thomas sang here on the Broadway Talk Live Network. My Thanks, goodness, it's so exciting. Well, we have guys, lots of duets on this album. We have some solos, but uh, we're always singing behind each other, and we had so much fun making it. So thanks for letting us chat about it tonight. Yeah. Please, oh. please. And uh, if they want to go and purchase it, they can go on iTunes. What is your what is your preferred destination for them to purchase this? Well, the preferred is the pre-order of the album on martythomas.com. You mm. can find the physical CD, autographed copies, <gasps> all of it. Um, you know, as artists, if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. If you buy things online, or if you stream music online, the artists make very, very little. Very and little in a time money. when it's so important to support small businesses and artists, mm -hmm. we would love it if you would uh, grab a physical copy of the album. Which there's some beautiful artwork by our friend Jared Bodie out of uh, Atlanta. And of course, the, the full album comes oh. your way. Oh. Um, I just love this artwork. It's so yeah, sweet it's and so us. But if you're a digital kind of girl in a digital kind of world, it dropped on iTunes today as a pre-sale. Exactly. You buy the album and you immediately get a uh, download of our digital, our, our Heart Candy Christmas with all of our guest oh, artists, our Broadway uh, stars. And oh, so, so, so you'll get that so, today. So you get a track today, and then you get it's like it's like it's like an advent calendar of yeah. Christmas music. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so excited. Dylan is backstage pre-ordering. Pre right Yay! Now. Listen, um, you guys, you know that you are two of our absolute favorites. Thank you for coming back and for singing for us. Thank you for spreading some holiday cheer on a year that we were afraid would be a little low on the cheer factor. You guys really came through for us. Yeah. Thank we you, beauty. You. We adore you. Thank you and for having me. Please come so back much. whenever you want to sing. I don't care if it's February. Yeah. Sales are lagging. You're like, let's try to sell more of this Christmas <laughs> song. Come and sing a Christmas song for Valentine's Day. We'll just change one or two words, and it's a Valentine's yeah, song. Yeah, like how many well, tracks are on the album? We got a we got a we've we got, got a, a lot. We've got you. we've got a Hanukkah bop on there. Yeah, we've it was got... very important for me to arrange a disco Hanukkah bop because Marissa Rosen desperately needs. A Hanukkah bop in her repertoire, mm. and yeah. the world. I think all of us bop. need that. Yeah, we all need that in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so prepare you the way for Marissa Rosen, <laughs> Hanukkah's latest disco diva. I can't wait. Well, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you don't follow Marty and Marissa, their handles are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Make sure you give them a follow. Go check out their album. Mm -hmm. And while we're having an, ap an episode about uh, small businesses and Christmas catalogs and gift giving. And Giving Tuesday. Give uh, give Marissa Rosen a follow. Look out for uh, her uh, custom tie dye. Oh, that's also available you. for your clothing needs. And, I, and I'll say this too. For those of you who have no money, which I know there's people who are watching who feel bad they don't have money. Mm -hmm. You know what you can do? If you really have no money, you can't buy the album, stream it on Spotify if you have yeah. a Spotify. That'll give them a little something. And you know what? If you don't even have a Spotify account and you can't do that, just follow their Instagram. That is the free Share it and easy on your thing story, to do. review it on That's iTunes. Right. There anything. are a million ways to support artists if you just don't have money this season. We can 100% yes. relate. So thank you for yeah. pointing that out, Jackie. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, Marty and Marissa, we love you guys so love much. You too. Thank you for kicking off December with us. Uh, December 5th can't come soon enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and good morning tonight. Good morning good tonight. Good morning tonight. tonight. We love good you. Good morning Cheers. tonight. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness, two of my absolute favorite humans in the world. Love them both. And Love that voice both. is just studio ready. I, well, after soundcheck, I, Mar Marty left backstage and he went to go work on actually a video for I think our next guest. But while Mar Mar Marty's on, I was like, does Marty, can Marty, does Marty do voice lessons? And Michael said, <laughs> There's nothing for you that he said. He said it's it's a hopeless cause, and Marty doesn't have the time. Uh, but you know, we do. We wish. We hope and wish. I don't even know how you're going to segue out of this one. Speaking of things Marty was working on, he was working on a video for our next guest. Yes, and just FYI, our, our next guest tonight really hates introductions. Uh, so if you're backstage and you're listening, now is the time to cover your ears. 
<laughs> uh, we'll give you a thumbs up when it's over. That's right, because Leslie Margarita, our next guest, made her Broadway debut in a loud way with her critically acclaimed performance as Mrs. Wormwood in Matilda the Musical, which I was obsessed with. Uh, the performance involved a lot of face kicking, belting, and even a cooter slam. Ooh, technical term, a cooter slam. Mm. Uh, she's also a film and television star who's appeared on more screens than anyone I know, uh, a published author, a celebrated cabaret performer, a really good person to follow on Twitter. Yes. Uh, and oh yeah, she also won an Olivier Award for her performance on the West End in Zorro. And, and I digress, you were talking about Matilda. <laughs> because yes, after 1,000 performances in Matilda, she departed that show to star in Dames at Sea mm -hmm. right across the street. Then she returned to Matilda to close that show. Yeah, she's also a champion of Robert Cares Equity Fights AIDS, frequently leading, lending her immense talents to benefit the organization. And a few Christmases ago, she gave a hilarious and heartwarming performance in the one-woman play, Who's Holiday? Oh my God. And we're going to chat with her about how you can stream that performance right now in your own home this month. So please, without further ado. Oh, and now, if, you're, if you are covering your ears, now is when you can Yeah, now you can this. listen. Welcome to Good Morning Tonight, Leslie Margaret. Is it over? It's over! over. Good morning tonight, Leslie! Good morning tonight! Oh I'm my in God. my bathroom. We are so excited to have you. Uh, we, so gonna, wait, you're in a bathroom? Work. I'm, in, I'm in a bathroom. My um, husband is working in the other room, so the bathroom is where the magic happens. That came out wrong, but but you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> someone yeah. had their fiber this morning, and right? thank goodness for that. Um, I didn't even know that I was the guest. I was sitting here playing Animal Crossing <laughs> because I forgot that I had done a video for Marty. And I was like, oh, I wonder who Marty's doing a video for. And I was yeah. literally. Well, we had the inside scoop. Something about uh, something exciting coming. I will, I do love that this community is so, like, we're all just working together all the oh time. Oh, my God. Like, Judd it's Cody was coming from another stream yard to this mm -hmm. stream yard. And it's like, we're all just trying to do what we can to make any of this make any sort of sense. It's what? It's what? Oh, I'm losing my hat. It's so oh. crazy. Oh, Michael, no. you talk while I find this hat. All right. Oh, no. Well, it's lost in the back of the studio. Oh, in, oh way in the back of the studio. Uh, we're so happy you're here. Thank you for joining us. Where uh, Where in the world are you tonight? I'm in LA. I'm in Los oh. Angeles at home. So it's, yeah. it's even more morning than night for you. Correct. Than it is for it us. It is early evening. Here. It's an early evening show. It's an early evening. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, well, is the, hat, the hat is back. Thank goddess. Thank oh, goddess. Thank goddess. And this hat is a good segue because I feel like this is a hat that perhaps your character in whose holiday maybe in her youth would have coveted. Per perhaps in her youth. And now uh, she's nearing 40 and maybe not. So and well. maybe not because whose you know, holiday? No, I don't think so. No, I think, I think she would rock it still. You think she, she would like still it. rock it? Maybe not like this. I would say this is very like Martha May. But I feel like uh, for your character in whose holiday, I don't know if, well, Let's just let's just give this part away for the kids because if you don't know what whose holiday is, mm -hmm. when I just read about this concept, I was like, God damn, why is she so smart? I why? didn't write it. I didn't write it. But but you brought this to life. Right. But I and, did not write it. That was Matthew Lombardo who and, gets all the credit for that. And it's so but it's so smart because you take this character of Cindy Lou Who, which all we know is that annoying blonde girl, and you right. <laughs> we we get to see your version of her in her 40s, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now many years after the events of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, mm -hmm. and performing this one woman show out of the trailer that she now lives in on yeah. Mount Crumpet. Yeah, she's had a rough go of it. And um, yeah, I think, you know, she goes through so much in her life and and turning 40 and she's, although she didn't really talk about it, but, but it's more about her life experiences and things that went wrong, things that she thought we're gonna happen in her life that didn't, and it's something um, that everybody can relate to. It is dreams that that maybe weren't achieved, and then how do you pick yourself back up? How do yeah. you right. um, get back on on track with? Well, your I life? think this theme of like expectations missed or like things yeah. that maybe didn't happen is maybe even more poignant than ever now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so as perfect. We're all sitting at home in a pandemic, uh, remembering what we had thought we would achieve by Christmas yeah. this year, or what our New Year's resolutions were, and, and things just didn't quite pan out the way we had planned. Yeah. 
but we found yeah, correct. we found other we found other we sources of joy. And, and so did she. And so yeah. did she. And this also gives me joy because not only is it just something that now people can watch, maybe didn't get to see its off-Broadway run, but now in addition to just seeing it, they also get to benefit Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Yes. It is yes. World AIDS Day, so I'm so glad yeah. we're talking about this today because yep. we are going to benefit an organization that was sprung up out of the you know true. Uh, pathos and terror that was New York City, Broadway's community in the 80s and 90s, the death of so many uh, people that we don't even get to know what they could have achieved. Mm -hmm. um, and Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS was there for those uh, suffering from HIV and AIDS at that time and is still there for them. And now through the COVID pandemic, where the entire community is affected by, once again, another pandemic. Um, and so by buying a ticket to this at broadwaycares.org slash whose holiday, You'll be benefiting uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Well, it's actually free. It's a, it's the the stream is free. The stream it's is free. 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 Uh, we're just asking that perhaps if you watch it, and it's streaming December 11th is the first day, starting at 8 p.m. It's streaming through December 15th for free, and we're just asking out of the goodness of people's hearts um, to maybe make a donation. What big or small, it doesn't matter. Um, the fact that. BCEFA is streaming this for free is phenomenal. Yeah. And um, so I'm just uh, urging people to donate. And I'll, and I'll tell you this, kids. If, if, you're, if you're watching this show and you've spent, you haven't spent, I'm sure, in the last few months because it's been closed, you spent $14 on a movie ticket, spend that $14 here. If you spent, you know, uh, you know, $5 for a, a, a cinnamon latte like I do every day, Maybe skip cinnamon lattes for a few days and spend the money here because it's it's really benefiting it's benefiting everyone in this community uh, and so that's so exciting. Uh, yeah. Leslie, are there going to be any any little um, any little uh, is there is there is there a live viewing on the Friday at eight p.m. Like there, there, I believe there will be a live viewing, and Cindy Lou I think will be tweeting oh, along work. Uh, uh, with BCFA. Oh. Uh, yeah, so eight p.m. Eastern time on the eleventh will be the first. Showing. I'm so excited for people to see it. it is, it's hysterical, it's touching, it's heartbreaking, it's it's kind of everything, and, and it's just yeah. so, so perfect for now. And so it's, really and it's intimate. I remember I came to see you live, and I remember it, uh, just how intimate and how personal it felt, and I remember yeah. you, you we're talking to some rowdy folks in, in the up in the front, mm -hmm. uh, but it's mm -hmm. it's it's really kind of one of those like anything can happen kind of like intimate moments, which especially for you coming from things like Matilda and Dames at Sea, which were like as big yeah. as it gets. Uh, <laughs> it was so cool to see you kind of work in a new space and get to flex a bit of a different muscle yeah. while doing this this play uh, that is just just you, just yeah. all Leslie, all by herself. The uh, most frightening thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Well, it was very, very cool to watch. So and now everyone can it. enjoy it. This is so yeah. exciting. For free. For free. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got, I'm going to pop this up one more time. There you are. It's Who's Holiday. Oh, I want that hair. Starts free, it starts streaming so this Friday, December 11th at 8 p.m. I want uh, You shoes. can stream it at broadwaycamps.org slash Who's Holiday. Uh, and if you're not available December 11th at 8, you can actually stream it all the way through December 15th. Uh, so you've got plenty of chances to watch. And, and also, donate. it's never a bad time to donate to Broadway Cares. It's never a bad time so to donate. So even if you don't watch from the 11th to the 15th, first of all, you're missing out. But second missing of all, out. still donate to Broadway Cares. <sighs> Queen that? Leslie, you're amazing. Uh, oh, Leslie Margarita, tell us, okay, you're our last guest of the evening. And yes. you know, as we, as we uh, go into this holiday season, I'd love you to close us out by telling, telling us one thing as it's almost over, 2020 is almost over. Tell us what's one thing you're hopeful for in 2021? Ooh. I'm really hopeful for uh, a vaccine. I'm really hopeful for health for people. Um, I'm really, 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 really hopeful. Obviously, I'm very hopeful about our new uh, administration, but I'm, but politics aside, I'm really hopeful for a vaccine for worldwide health. Yep. Too many people have been lost, so yeah. I'm really, really hopeful for that. And uh, I don't think any of us could have said it better. So, Leslie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, you are really such love you. You, we love you so much, and we can't wait till you're back here in New York, performing mm -hmm. back yeah. on our Broadway and off-Broadway stages, making that magic happen. But until then, please stay safe. We love you Thank so you much. You too. Good morning Bye. tonight. Cheers. Good morning tonight. Oh. Um, oh my gosh, you guys! Well, we did it. A little, a little internet lag in the middle, but we made it through. We did. Uh, thanks for joining us for this first 
episode of December. We hope you had fun. If you did have fun, a reminder that you can tip us.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not going to us. We will be splitting those tips between the candidate campaigns of John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock in Georgia, which、yeah. we think is pretty important. Also,、uh, while you're here,、uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're joining us from Twitter or Facebook, just go over to BroadwayTalkLive.com, and that'll take us take you right to our、uh, YouTube page, and you can subscribe to us and never miss never miss an episode. Never miss a show. There are three on this channel, and it starts、uh, you know after we. Hit end tonight. Yeah, it starts again on Thursday with Dylan Bustamante and I. We have the Broadway Happy Hour called the Five Thirty Quarantini. Ooh,、uh, and this week we will be sitting down with Nick Rashad Burrows. Okay,、uh, and we will be making cocktails and catching up about all good things. And if those cocktails are half as good as this one, you're going to want to tune in and join them. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, because Monday、uh, is MT Trivia. I don't know why. Because, but Monday is MT Trivia with Christopher and Kevin Metzger Timsonses、uh, at 9 p.m.、Uh, and they're back December 7th. So they they took this week off. Yes.、Uh, for a personal holiday time, but they are back、uh, Monday, December 7th. Uh, with a brand new show, yeah. And then next Tuesday, as always, Jackie and I will be back with a brand new episode、mm. of Good Morning Tonight. If you thought the surprises were fun tonight, there's even more next time.、Uh, we will be back with. Wait, I don't want to say. It. I want to say.、It. I want to say this. We had one Disney voice actress、mm-hmm. this week,、mm-hmm. and on Tuesday we'll have our second Disney voice. Should we just leave it at that? Actress. I think that's all we're gonna. Maybe、say. we'll leave it at that, and if you'd like, you can guess. Uh, we will have mystery Disney voice actress who、Ooh. I'm sure we'll get too excited and release it on Instagram soon. So make sure you're following us.、Uh, we will also have John Tartaglia. We will. We will.、Uh, of of Broadway and Puppet World fame,、mm-hmm. uh, and another musical performance.、Uh, next week we are joined by Michelle Dowdy and Jordan Wolf, who have a new Christmas single out, and they'll be dropping by to sing for us. <sighs> Have、What a, a show! <laughs> I would say, Michael. You know, even though you know it's been a little different, I think、uh, things are beginning to look a little bit like the holiday yeah, spirit. They are. So we love you guys, and thanks for tuning in. See you next time. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, though things are odd right now. Put a tree in the living room. Show it to friends on Zoom. We're, we're distant, distant, but we're, we're cheerful, cheerful anyhow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but COVID is still here. Just because there's a new vaccine, that simply doesn't mean that we're in the clear. Grab some wine that you like, or a Peloton bike. They're great gifts to take up your time. Spread some goodwill while you Netflix and chill. Shop small, not Amazon Prime. All while staying home to make your holiday sublime. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Though different overall, take care of your friends. Alas, this pandemic will pass. Merry Christmas.